The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Washington, Mrs. Ro Mrs. Rogers, for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to recognize the month of April as the month of the military child. I've always said that when someone joins the military, it's not just a job, it's a family commitment to our country. This is especially true for the more than 1.6 million children who have a parent in active duty serving our nation, including nearly 2,000 who call Fairchild Air Force Base in Eastern Washington home. Over the next few weeks, I urge my colleagues to join me in honoring the thousands of brave men and women who demonstrate their courage and commitment to freedom, selflessly serving our country around the world. Let us take this time to say thank you to those in uniform keeping us safe and remind them that while they're taking care of us, we are taking care of their children. To all the children of active duty service members, we salute you. We recognize your commitment to our country. We share in your struggles of not seeing your mom and dad, and we support you unconditionally. Just like your parents, you are a hero in your own way. And in April, we celebrate you. Madam Speaker, I ask my colleagues to join me in recognizing the incredible sacrifices of military, military children across the country and invite my fellow Americans to help us honor them with unwavering support and appreciation today and every day. Thank you. I yield back.